When you're looking through a manual for the oxygen acetylene torch, you'll often see a photograph of someone holding a filler rod. Could be a bracing rod or a gas welding rod. They'll be holding that in one hand and the torch in the other hand. And this is the perfect position for brazing and welding. If your parts are laid out and secured so that they won't move around. Now I have a shortcut to this, what I call a daub of bronze. And I use this frequently, as you'll see, in many of the different pieces that I do. Here are two rods. I want to braze together. I'm going to use these 3 8 inch square steel pieces to hold these in place so that they don't roll around. Then braze them together. Very simple. But let's say I want to braze this rod on at an angle. That means I need to get something to prop this up to hold it in place. But another way that I can do that, and this is a phrase you'll hear me say frequently in my videos, just put on a daub of bronze. So I'm brazing on just a little bit of bronze right on that rod. Now I can position it up right there and braze it on. I should have put those 3 8 inch pieces right on those rods so that they don't move, so the rods don't slide. Now if I get a piece that is too short to hold with my fingers, I can put on a daub of bronze here. Then using my needle nose, and just hold it right where I want it, remount the bronze, and it's brazed on. For the plant butterflies, here I'm using the daub of bronze, putting it right on the sticks that go on the back of the butterflies. Here you can see the antennas and the sticks all have a daub of bronze. Everything is ready to braze on. The antennas. Turning the butterfly over. Embracing on the sticks. Another example, the wheels for the chip shot or golf mag. These are too short to hold with my fingers, so I'm using the needle nose to hold them in position. For the maple leaf sprays, putting a daub of bronze on the leaf stems, top and bottom. Now I'm all ready to attach them to the leaves. And when I have them all finished, then the other end will attach to the frame of the maple leaf spray. Attaching the seat to the American Racer and put the seat right there. In this case I've got the daub of bronze on the bicycle. We can just hold it upside down like this, remount that bronze and raise it right on to the copper seat. 
Now something just a little bit different with this seat for the high wheel bicycle. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is to figure out exactly where I want this. Now I'm going to put a daub of bronze right there for the first brace. Holding the seat with the bracket. The bracket's attached to the copper seat. Holding it there. Melting the bronze. Now I'll come down and I'll do the lower one. Now I can just do this lower one by holding the rod in my left hand and the torch in the right hand. Now this is just a little bit different. These are the standard trees I use in a number of my pieces. As you can see I have put a knob of bronze on the end of some of the 16th inch rods using my needle nose take this half copper circle remount the bronze on the 1 16th inch rods and let it flow right onto the half copper circle and here you can see the results once the tree has been wire brushed and sprayed with a clear acrylic so now when you hear me say a daub of bronze, you know exactly what I'm talking about.